Hey everyone, I'm Jag Fawcett, and today we are taking a look at the TS-808 Tamura mod. What this is, is it's a TS-808 that has been modified to best of the best specs by the man who actually designed the Tube Screamer, the original Tube Screamer. And what they did was after kind of exhaustive research of a lot of different Tube Screamer models, kind of picking out the ones that sounded particularly good, they narrowed it down to the specific IC that was consistent in these Tube Screamers that sounded just really good and kind of a step above the rest. Now, this one has that sourced specific IC and also some other component upgrades, even down to having a zinc chassis, which is supposed to cut down on uh, electrostatic, so to give you a quieter, you know, noise-free sort of pedal, uh, and some additional mods, including obviously one of the big things that stands out is your, you know, standard plunger switch here, which is a soft touch one. You've got a brighter LED. The knobs are a little bit, they look a little nicer, they look a little flashier, and they're easier to tell, you know, exactly where they're dialed in. Now, tonally, one of the things that really strikes me about this pedal is the Fidelity and the clarity. Now, I'm someone who loves the Tube Screamer, and many of you who follow me know that the Tube Screamer is one of my favorite overdrive pedals ever. There's just something really special about them. But I also get that certain ones have their shortcomings. You know, they have the mid-rangey thing that they do. They can sound kind of boxy at times. Boxy is not really the right word. It's plasticky almost? I don't know. There's something about them that if used in the wrong context, that thing that they do doesn't quite sound right. Uh, you know, obviously one of the big things is a Tube Screamer needs to be pushing your amplifier if you have it set lower than unity gain. It really doesn't sound very good. It needs to kind of give your amp, even if it's a little bit, it needs to give it a kind of a boost. And it's not always the best in terms of presence, in terms of clarity, in terms of note fidelity. And this one still has the Tube Screamer character that you know, I look for. It still has that that kind of boost to your mid-range. It still has that kind of nice little bit of compression that smooths out your signal and kind of balances it a little bit and squishes it a little bit. But it does it in a way where, again, there's more clarity, more fidelity, more of an even keeledness to it. And it just, all in all, I think sounds a little more professional. It just sounds a little bit more like a, a refined kind of tone. And something that I think works really particularly well. And again, still kind of captures all the love of a Tube Screamer that you want to hear, but then evening out some of the shortcomings that other ones might have. Now, today we are plugging into a Supro Royale, and you've just heard it with a Fender Stratocaster. Now, next what I'm going to do is a little bit different. I am going to plug in a Gibson Les Paul so that you can also hear it with humbuckers. But rather than going through the full range on this pedal, one of the things I want to show you is how well it does if you're boosting an already overdriven amp. Again, kind of going back to what this does for sort of clarity and, and what it does to really punch up and even up your tone. In a setting that another Tube Screamer might sound a little bit muddy or, you know, might sound a little bit wonky at, what I'm going to do now is really get the Supro dialed in for a nice kind of classic overdrive with the Les Paul. And then I'm going to hit it with this, with the overdrive turned back and the level turned up. Then even going to change it more and turn the overdrive back a little bit more and push the level up a little bit more and really kind of boost it. And you'll just hear it... it retains its character, it does its Tube Screamer thing, but just really punches it up. It gives it more of this, you know? It gives it more of this, and that's what you want from a really good Tube Screamer. So, let us know what you think. Have you tried the Tamora mod? This is put out by Godlike Distribution, and they did sponsor this review, so I do want to say thank you for sending this over. I'm really excited about this because I love a good Tube Screamer, and again, this is kind of like you know, it's almost like Tube Screamer's greatest hits is what it is. It's it's all the things that you love about a Tube Screamer with none of the things that you don't love about a Tube Screamer kind of packed into one pedal. So let us know what you think. Have you tried it? Is it something that you want to own? Do you use another Tube Screamer? Please let us know in the comments. I'm Jack Fawcett. Please remember to like, share, and subscribe. Follow me on Jack Fawcett Official for some great music and support me on Patreon. Hope you enjoy the rest of the video. Thank uh you. -huh.